इसको तो पहले इसको चलो सर uh so thank you very much friends and uh, good morning and uh, very special thanks to madam nidhi uh, thank you very much for this wonderful morning and i hope that we all are going to enjoy this session when we talk about the audio i remember one thing that our voice is our recognition let our voices be the recognition in the days to come that's why i am going to wish for all of you so uh a very hearty welcome in this in this session i would like to begin with the one of the very uh, uh one of the very important thing uh, among with all of you have you heard about mount morgan mount morgan you might have heard you might have seen in the news and it is one of the mount it is one of the mountain in australia queensland you all must have heard about the queensland right so it is a mountain and uh, i was just going through some of the details of this and uh, i came to know that in this mount in this mountain uh, from i mean thousand of years from thousands of years actually centuries passed literally and uh, some tribes were there they used to live on that mountain but they struggled they struggled a lot with the poverty they struggled a lot with the paucity they struggled a lot with so many things they struggled with the i must say the poverty but why this happened i would like to start now why this happened i would like to tell you now that uh, uh, they continued to struggle they did not know what is there but all of a sudden the government came to know that there is a reserve of gold uh, in mount morgan and the government acquired this land this mountain and overnight those who struggled those who struggled with the i mean poverty those who struggled with so many things they became multimillionaires why they struggled the question is this why they struggled they struggled just because of one thing because they did not know what was there beneath their feet this is one of the example i would like to encourage all of you by giving this example and uh, i would like to i would like to uh, inspire all of you by saying this right now that uh, we must know as a teacher that what is what do we have right now what do we have uh, in the form of the internet in the form of the social media and what are the total possibilities that uh, i would like to encourage all of you uh, i would like to say that in mount morgan they struggled a lot just because they did not know what what they had and the same thing i must say the same thing happens with us also when we do not know the possibilities right when we do not know the possibilities that what are with us then we struggle so now when we talk about the education when we talk about uh, the i must say the content we must know that what we have i would like to say we have the social media i would like to say we have the internet we have the podcast and so many and so many platforms i do have the mobile in my hand all of you are having this and uh, uh, i don't have any hesitation to say that uh, mobile is a uh, what should i say mobile is a wonderful broadcaster mobile is a wonderful broadcaster and with the help of the sorry, mobile sir. you can uh, reach sorry, up to the end of this world. Excuse me, sir. I yes. just want to request uh, to make it slide show. Ah? Huh? Just make your presentation as slide show. Ah yes, slide is there. Slide show. Right. Okay, sir. No problem. Please continue. I'm so sorry. so friends i was talking about mount morgan and mount morgan is a mountain in australia and the tribes those who inhabited there they struggled with the poverty they struggled with the poverty just because they did not know what did they have and after they came to know within night overnight they became the multimillionaire so just i would like to say that we have the infinite i mean possibilities nowadays in terms of the social media mobile is a wonderful broadcaster with the help of the mobile you can reach up to the end of this earth that's not a problem at all uh what of the saying is there and the saying is that sky is not the limit but our mind is the limit okay so let us move further now and we will see now now the question comes what is e content as you can see in the screen uh e content means any content produced electronically right any content that is produced electronically it is also called the digital content we can also we can also say digital content 
it can it can be e content or it can be the digital content both are correct it is created and disseminated through the electronic medium so some of the uh, e contents are like it can be in the form of the text it can be in the form of the image it can be in the form of the audio or the video it can be um, uh, a kind of the i must say the uh, i mean interactive or the i mean animation all the things are there so this is e content and this is what we are going to talk about right so now let's go to the next slide and the question comes now that is radio unpopular it is one of the uh, i must say it is the uh, 1 million dollar dollar question is radio unpopular so many people say that it has that it has now lost uh, i mean its uh, mandate but the fact is that it has already gained it has come back very strongly nowadays uh if you go to the research the research say that uh, uh, 67% if i am not wrong 67% of the total population in the cosmopolitan cities they shape their public opinion by listening to the radio you may listen to the fm in a, if you live in the i mean cosmopolitan cities just you are driving and you are listening to the radio okay radio the feature with the radio is that it has adopted it has adapted itself with the technology right so we can say that radio is not at all unpopular one thing is there i would like to say someone has said very rightly that after the after the sun rays after the sun rays this is radio that covers the earth right so radio is not unpopular at all we can go to the next now and uh, the answer you can see that the answer is the blunt no tremendous growth of the fm radio in almost every in almost every metropolitan cities we see right now we are coming to uh, one of the very important point and that is the strength of radio what is the strength of radio we are going to talk about that number one it is more economic all of you can see number two we can see that Sir, huh? the slides are not moving. Ah, देखना. Ah, uh, is it moving now? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Uh, is it moving now? Hello. Ha, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ha, is it moving now? Yes, sir. It is moving. Okay. So I was talking about the strength of radio, right? And the strength of the radio is radio is not at all weak. You can see a box here in the image, but the gone are the days when the box used to be, right? So the strength of the radio is it is more economic. number 2 we can say that it is easily movable we do not know a great infrastructure to move it number 3 is very important that is it allows the multitasking you listen to the radio and at the same time you can do so many tasks you listen to the radio and do and you do the gardening you listen to the radio and you can do the exercise you can listen to the radio you can work in the kitchen and uh, i mean the main thing is that that it allows the multitasking that that is one of the main feature of radio then we go to uh, one more important point that is the wider reach in tough geographical conditions right and uh, as we know that uh, the nep 2020 it emphasizes greatly about the maximum possible use of radio right i would like to repeat it again uh, nep 2020 it emphasizes on the maximum maximum possible use of the radio and it says that uh, radio can be used even the community radio the internet radio whatsoever because uh, they understand and uh, the country recognizes one thing is very important that is that the radio can reach up to the far flung areas where possibly there is no access to the internet right so you are going to have a wonderful tool in your hand in the days to come one thing more is there and that is uh, it is more effective in natural calamities i remember the time of the cyclone in andhra pradesh i mean possibly on that time i have i had come to know that uh, the tv towers and so many things they lit 
it really fallen down. But it was only radio that was working, I must say, that was playing the role as an angel. You know, it used to bring the news of the dear ones, those who were there. So it is the strength of the radio. Now we are going to the next point, and that is, uh, it is a million dollar question. A must ask question. And the question is that, what is broadcast? Or what is broadcasting, right? What is broadcasting? So broad means we know that something which is very broad, right? Something, something with, I mean, something which is very broad. And cast means to throw, okay? Like the fishermen, they cast their net. Uh, just wait, just wait. So uh, we are going to talk about this. So when we talk about the broadcasting, the meaning of the broadcasting, broad means very broad. When we cover a very broad landmass, like maybe I'm speaking from, maybe I'm speaking from London or I'm speaking from Delhi, but at the same time, my reception is being heard in the far flung areas of Assam. It can also be possible that uh, my reception or my voice is being reached, maybe in, uh, I'm in Sri Lanka, anywhere. So when I cover a vast landmass overseas, on that condition, I say that it is broadcasting, like the electronic magnetic signal, it is thrown uh, in a very vast landmass, okay? So that is called the broadcasting. Like I can say that, friends, I'm speaking from uh, BBC London right now, and I'm very happy to see your messages right now that you are uh, sending to me the message. I can see your messages on the screen, and I see right now that uh, someone is writing to me, Some is someone is saying to me, Namaskar, and he is from Assam. Someone is right now wishing me from Andhra Pradesh. Oh, I can see someone is there from, I mean, Mizoram. So many people are there. Just I have demonstrated this, my dear friends, just because of one thing, because, you know, Maybe I'm speaking from Delhi, but my voice is heard uh, in a very vast landmass. Like uh, we have a broadcast from NCRT and uh, the name of the program is Umang. So myself and uh, Madam Wimlesh, we used to anchor this program and we used to say, uh, friends, thank you very much for listening to our program. We are, I'm Ajit, along me. I am Ajit and I am talking to you right now. And friends, uh, I'm very happy that you are listening to our program and uh, we are receiving the responses from all across the country. So, you know, uh, we have right now, just for the information, I would like to share with you that uh, uh, we have 132 uh, radio stations across the country of All India Radio. And when we broadcast the educational, I mean, programs, we have a tremendous response. So many blind people are there. So many people are there, those who listen to the program, I mean, elderly people. And they say that, sir, they say that, madam, and they say that uh, we are so thankful for the NCRT for broadcasting the educational programs. And uh, uh, I still remember one of the comment of, uh, I mean, given by a blind person. And he says that radio is my only hope. I listen to this radio and I enjoy the educational program. So friends, I would like to say that uh, you are going to have this tool it's a wonderful tool and you are going to, when you are going to have it, you know, when you are going to have it, uh, I would like to say that you are also going to do the miracle. So this is broadcasting. But opposite to this, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm clear. You can also, I mean, cast your messages in the, uh, in the chat box so that I can see uh, how it is, uh, how are you feeling or uh, are you getting it or not, right? So now we can see one thing more. Uh, just opposite to the broadcast, there is a term, just opposite to the broadcast, there is a term, and that term, uh, again, uh, we, we will go to the next, just opposite to this, there is a narrow cast. When we talk about the narrow casting, right? When we talk about the narrow cast, it means it is a FM broadcast. FM broadcast means it uh, it has a very, I mean, scare, I mean, range. When we talk about the broadcast, when we talk about the narrow cast, mostly it is the FM, right? So when we see the FM, when we see the FM, in the FM, we can say that uh, why the FM is required, why the narrow casting is required. The question is that, uh, I would like to raise this question again, why the narrow casting or why the FM is required? I would like to say one thing, that we can have the better listening quality when we listen to uh, in the, I mean, FM, someone has very rightly said, you know, that even you can uh, listen to the scratch of the bow of the violin when we listen to the program in the FM, right? So it is the narrow casting. Now we are going to the next. Uh, looking at the time, uh, seeing at the time, I would like to be brief. 
uh, now we are going to talk about the formats of the radio program. You cannot just say that we produce a radio program. You cannot just say like this. Okay? You need to specify it. When you say, when I say it is format, so what do we understand by the term format? Format means, I would like to say, format means the style of the presentation. How do you present a program? Like if I say uh, I had been working here in NCRT since last 32 years, still I am continuing here. And uh, so many people, they used to come and they used to ask that, what do you produce? In the beginning, I used to say that, sir, I produce the radio program. But it was not clear. They used to say, what kind of radio program do you produce? On that time, my dear friends, you need to spell out, you need to spell out that what program do you produce? So when we talk about the format of the radio program, we can go to the next slide. And the, I mean, format number, number one that comes, that is called the documentary. Right. Documentary is one of the is one of the formats of the radio program. Documentary means something which is based on the documents, something which is authentically something which is authentically created or something I would like to say, which has the historicity. If it is historically proved, if it is authentic, then it is documentary. Uh, it will not allow you to have an imaginary flight that uh, I liked it. So I, I produced this program. No, it depends completely. It it is based on the historical facts. You can see the next slide now that uh, these are certain sources of uh, the radio documentary. If I am asked to produce a documentary, that means I must go for a deep seated research. It needs a research. It cannot be uh, simply produced because I want to, I mean, produce a program. No, I would like to give you an, an example. If I am given uh, the documentary to produce on maybe Jallianwala Bagh, or maybe in uh, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahasaw, right? So I need to go, I need to have the research, I need to have uh, the historic facts about that. So the sources can be the print material. You can see right now that uh, the Times of India and uh, uh, it is reporting about the birth of India's freedom, right? It is reporting about this. Then it can be any audio source, it can be video source, it can be letters, it can be diaries, it can be photos, it can be manuscript, it can be anything, right? So when I'm asked to produce a documentary, I need to do one thing, that I need to collect the resources. Okay, I would like to give you a, an example. Like if uh, I'm given the responsibility to produce a program on Jallianwala Bagh, okay? What will I do? What am I supposed to do, okay? I am supposed to do a deep seated research. I need to go to maybe the, uh, I mean, any of the studios of All India Radio. I need to uh, find out some of the audio clippings of their research or some of the audio, I mean, audio voices of maybe Mahatma Gandhi or Sardar Patel or anyone else. So I would like to have some uh, audio clipping. Then I would like to have some, uh, I mean, print material from the newspaper. I can also refer to some of the letters or the diaries that might have been written by the freedom fighters. Then I will uh, write a script finally. And then I will say that it is documentary. Now, how to produce a documentary? The uh, modality or the mode of the, I mean, production of, uh, uh, I mean, documentary is, I would like to say that generally there are, there are two persons. Generally there are two persons who, uh, I mean, host the program, okay? Like uh, male and female, and uh, they uh, they anchor the program along with the sound effect, along with the relative music. Like if I say about uh, Jallianwala Bagh, then I will use the music of Punjab. And because that was the day of Baisakhi, so I can also use the sound effect of, uh, uh, I mean, some songs or the music of Baisakhi, right? So uh, after that, uh, because I have to make it very sure what kind of instruments were used on that time. Okay, then this program uh, is going to be produced. But in order to reduce the monotony, in order to reduce the, I mean, monotony, we go to a different format and that is called the docudrama, right? Docudrama means uh, it is again based on the fact, but we take the liberty to produce, we take a liberty to create some drama on that, right? Docudrama means I would like to uh, say, uh, maybe I will I will do the anchoring of the program. Friends, we are going to listen to a program on Jallianwala Bagh and all of you know about the massacre of the Jallianwala Bagh and uh, what happened on that day, we would like to tell. 
then the music will come immediately then we can dive into the drama into the drama but drama has to also be drama must also based on the facts uh docu drama is used mainly to reduce the monotony right but again it has to be supported by the proper music and the sound effect right we will go to the next now and the next format uh, here uh, you can see uh, you can have a look on the on this slide it talks in detail about the documentary okay it says documentary is a spoken word with supportive music and radio format devoted to non fiction narrative right we are going to the next format now and that is called the radio magazine what is radio magazine about radio magazine uh, there are certain i mean definitions which i would like to share with you we say that also what is a radio magazine i mean for instance when i say that i am going to uh, that we are going to listen to a radio magazine what will you understand with this now uh, see on the screen uh, assume that it is a school magazine okay assume that it is a school magazine and uh, when i look at page number 1 i see that it is a wonderful picture of school building right i turn the page and then i see here that here is the editorial editorial is here oh wow fine good editorial nice 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 very nicely written fine then i am going to the next page when i go to the next page i say wow here i see the the story because i like the story very much then again when i turn the next page when i go to the next page i see that here is a wonderful poem uh also there is a cartoon okay and uh, also i see some very good story right what did you notice here why did i say this is a radio magazine just because of one thing i would like to tell as i continue to turn the pages right as i continue to turn on the pages i see that the variety is changed that is called the radio magazine so when i go to the radio magazine i say like this friends welcome to this program uh, it is uh, hosted by cit and crt in this umang program i would like to welcome all of you i am your host i am i am your friend ajit horo so friends we are going to listen to a wonderful radio magazine this morning hope that all of you are driving hope that all of you maybe uh, all of you are in the home but when you are listening to this program i would like to make a request to you just hold on because you are going to have wonderful wonderful items number 1 i would like to say let us listen to a wonderful recital by ludwig von beethoven all of you must know that who was he he was a wonderful pianist and uh, he is the maestro of the western music so when you listen to this uh, piano recital just wait what we are going to bring to you next what we have in our store i am not going to tell you but simply i am going to give you a hint and the hint is that we are going to make you listen to a wonderful voice that we believe that you recognize that voice who is that voice that you will tell me okay and after that we are going to listen to a wonderful interview by a very well known cricketer but i am not going to tell you the name right on that time it's going to be a surprise for you so thank you very much this is one of the demo my dear friends of the radio magazine like i said that uh, we are going to listen to the recital of von beethoven then i said that we are going to listen to some voices that they are going to recognize then i said that we are going to listen to one of the interviews okay so it is the variety of so many formats when i say radio magazine that means it can be you can see there can be song there can be drama there can be interview there can be poem there can be story there can be instrumental whatsoever it depends on you so it is one of the most popular formats right that is called the radio magazine fine so we have covered three i mean formats by this time format number 1 uh, was radio documentary format number 2 that we uh, that we covered is uh, docu drama okay and this is format number 3 this is called radio magazine right so in the first session we are going to cover all the formats and on session and on the second session we are going to talk about how to write for the radio right so i believe that all of we uh, all of us have understood what is radio magazine what is docu drama and what is documentary now let us move on to the next uh, i mean format if you have any comment i would like to see that if you are getting uh, 
अच्छा फ्रॉम अंडमान एंड निकोबार आई कैन सी फ्रॉम लक्षद्वीप ऑल्सो वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल ऑफ योर राइटिंग आई एम रियली थैंकफुल ओके गुड इन्फॉर्मेशन द मैसेजेस ऑल्सो डू एनकरेज राइट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड होप समन इज सेंग दैट इट इज अ यूजफुल सेशन फॉर क्रिएटिंग इफेक्टिव ई कंटेंट रेडियो मैगजीन कैन बी टॉक इट कैन बी पैनल डिस्कशन येस यू आर राइट सर यू आर राइट i do agree with you so if you continue to message me then i will also feel inspired right so uh we are going to the next format now and that is uh again we are going to the next format and uh, the just wait yes so it is why it is so entertaining because we have so many because we have so many items in this have a look at the magazine right we are going to the next and this is called the radio feature avoid the word new okay avoid the just wait avoid the word new radio feature as the word is right as the word is feature means what do we understand by the word feature out of so many qualities or out of so many attributes when we choose one quality or one attribute of a person or maybe of a culture or maybe of a particular i mean anything it can be that is called the radio feature feature means uh, like i would like to give you the example of mahatma gandhi he was a multifaceted personality all of us know right gandhi ji uh, he had a multifaceted personality and uh, we can say that uh, he was a good writer okay okay he was a good leader okay attribute number 3 uh, he was a good barrister or he was a good advocate right attribute number 4 can be that he was a good saint okay so many features so many things are there in his personality but out of so many qualities when i choose one quality out of those all qualities and and produce a program that will be called a feature i will give you an example we have a wonderful book uh, in ncert it is published by ncert always i quote this book and the uh, name of this book is uh, bahurup gandhi bahurup means uh, many forms okay right a multifaceted person it talks about that gandhi ji was a good leader i mean quality number 1 quality number 2 it talks about the uh, writing skills of gandhi ji and it used to say that uh, he was able to write from both of his hands when he used to tired by writing by the right hand he would use the left hand okay some in, uh, i mean Im important information but very few know that gandhi ji was an auctioneer also auctioneer can you imagine that a person of such a great stature a uh, wonderful leader such a towering personalities and he was gandhi ji was an auctioneer also one example i will give it was the it was in mumbai uh, d then bombay and a meeting was going on and he was talking to the crowd he was talking about the uh, the contribution of the people in the indian national movement and what happened all of a sudden all of a sudden that uh, an old lady came on that time my dear friends many industrialists were there those who used to give the donation i mean for the uh, i mean for the freedom struggle they used to give the they used to contribute for the freedom struggle so many uh, i mean big business houses were there they were giving the money and uh, good meeting was going on so well all of a sudden an old lady appeared and she had a lemon in her hand and she said that uh, mahatma ji i have only one lemon in my garden so when i was coming to this meeting i thought that i will give this lemon right i will give i will give this lemon to you so that it can be used for the freedom struggle of india people started mocking she was ridiculed you know all started laughing that how come how come it is possible that just by a lemon uh, a lemon can contribute to the national freedom or the national freedom movement gandhi ji said okay i would like to uh, use this opportunity he took this lemon and he auctioned it okay and the historical facts are that facts are that that uh, um, the total money that was raised just out of that lemon was more than 10000 rupees 
and it was greater than the industrialists that uh, they actually contributed to the national fund right so uh, think in a way that no one has thought of write in a way that no one has written yet so if i say that gandhi ji was a great i mean great leader everyone knows but if i say that uh, i am going to friends i am going to highlight about uh, i am going to highlight about one of the wonderful features of the personality of gandhi ji do you know that he was an auctioneer and if i produce a program on that believe me this program is going to be hit because so many people are unaware of this fact that he was an auctioneer also so out of so many attributes of the personality of gandhi ji i chose one and i chose one and that is the attribute of gandhi ji being auctioneer right so that is called the radio feature let me see uh, your messages again uh, okay everything is very clear thank you very much uh yes radio magazine is useful okay right i am seeing this yes very useful interesting session please uh, explain about the documentary okay okay i will do it later on and uh, let me see some of the messages yes are you getting my voice very clear i would like to know okay so now friends we are going to move on to the next right i hope that all of you are enjoying and uh, as is uh, i mean in the beginning i said that the tribes of the mount morgan they struggled a lot because they did not know what was beneath their feet when we know that we have such a powerful social media when we know that we have a powerful tool that is called the mobile when we know the possibilities of what a mobile can do that we are going to talk in the next session how can we produce a program how can we design a program how how can we reach to our target audience nowadays when uh, i was young you know on that time i used to uh, look at the uh, i mean radio station building like this oh this is studio this is the station of all india radio how difficult it is to get in but now how uh, thanks to the technology even my mobile phone is a broadcaster it can broadcast and i can reach up to the end of this world by this that we are going to talk on the next session we are going to uh, have the next slide now and the next slide is right next next again next yes this is called the radio talk uh as word uh, as the word is here talk it doesn't mean two people are talking with myself uh, my friend vikas is here who is right now operating this so if we if i and if i and vikas both are talking it is not a talk in terms of the radio grammar in terms of radio what happens that uh, radio talk is something in which maybe i will give you an i will give you an example i will invite maybe uh, i have gone through a uh, a news item in the newspaper and i saw that uh, someone has spoken very nicely someone has written a very nice article uh, on the environment in the topic of the environment so i am impressed by this article and then what will i do i will make a call to him and i will say sir i was very much impressed by the article that appeared yesterday in the newspaper and that was a very good article you know i want you to come in my studio i can't you listen to me carefully i would like you to come to my studio and i would like you to prepare a radio talk so he will come to me we will sit together over a cup of coffee maybe and i will go through the entire script it is very important to prepare a script before you speak why because if you don't prepare a script what will happen whatever you wanted to say uh, i mean mainly that you won't be able to speak you you may speak so many other things but maybe you will not come to the real point right so uh, then i will say that uh, okay now let us work on the script then we will go for the recording and then he will talk to the audience please listen to me he will talk to the audience so the conversation between the silent audience and the broadcaster is basically called the radio talk you know there's a uh, i have 5 minutes more within 5 minutes i hope to cover everything uh, about uh, radio it is said about broadcasting it is said uh, broadcasting is nothing but it is talking to a blind friend blind friend huh broadcasting is basically talking to a blind friend why do i say so i say so because as a broadcaster 
I am not able to see my audience. I am not going to see them by my eyes. The audience is not going to see me, but we are connected with each other with the microphone, right? So uh, I can say that I am talking to my blind friend and they will say that we are listening to a blind broadcaster. It's a fun, basically. It's a fun, okay? So maybe I don't have any, uh, I mean, video supplement. I don't have a, uh, any very good, uh, I mean, image to show. I have only one thing. And I have only one thing, and that is the microphone, right? That is simply the microphone. I am now using this mouse, giving you the example of the microphone. Like, it is a microphone. This is the tool which will help me. Hmm? This is the tool. Consider this as a microphone. Uh, basically, it's a mouse. This will help me to reach to the audience, right? And this is the only tool by which... I can do one thing. I can do the wonders. Someone has said, wonderfully, if you smile with the microphone, right? If you smile with the microphone, world is going to smile with you. And if you are going to cry with the microphone, world is going to cry with you, right? So maybe he is not able to see me. I am talking to my blind friend. But when I smile here, you know, good morning, my dear friends. I am your friend, Ajit Horo. I am talking to you right now from NCIT Studios. I am very happy and I and I feel that all of you must be very happy this morning. Good morning. If I smile here, they will sense my smile there. If I say, good morning, my friends, let us listen to a program. It's an educational program and you are going to be filled with knowledge. You know, nothing will happen. Radio is called the switch offable medium. You know, switch offable. You can note it. Switch offable. That means what happens if... Uh, I am not having life within myself. How can I impart the life to others? How can I? That is just next to impossible. But if I am filled with the power, if I am filled with the confidence, if I am filled with the good modulation, if I am talking to my audience with the energy, the audience will automatically be energized. That is the, that I must say, that is, that is mainly, I must say, that is the grammar of the radio broadcast, right? We are going to the last slide because time has already come, right? So we are going to the last slide and this is called the Vox Populi, right? Vox Populi seems to be uh, unfamiliar. I mean, isn't it? Vox Populi, it's a French word. It's a French word. Vox means the voice. Just excuse me. Vox means the voice and Populi means the people. It means the voice of the people, right? Uh, it happens mainly at the time of the elections or uh, maybe when I go to the market and I do some survey, I may go to you, I may talk to all of you that I will say that uh, now election is coming very near. Uh, what, are, what do you feel about the, I mean, price hikes? What do you feel about the petrol? What about, uh, what about the, uh, I mean, uh, rising prices of the vegetables? And I'm taking the opinion of the people I will get it recorded. I will come to the studio. I will edit it. Then I will say, friends, uh, till today you have heard me. But in this broadcast, you are going to listen to your voice. You are going to listen to yourself. So we are talking to you, right? So this is called voice uh, Vox Populi. And uh, Vox Populi means uh, we ask the views of the other people and then uh, you can see the greater details of the Vox Populi here, right? And uh, with this, I would like to conclude this session. Uh, I think we have covered almost each and every, uh, each and every, I mean, I mean, formats of the radio program. Uh, all of you are saying, uh, yes, making something with unfamiliar event, right? Uh, some of the messages, let me see. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Course are excellent. Thank you. So remember this one thing. Uh, I would like to conclude with this. Uh, PPT. Okay. Memnidi, within just, I mean, 30 seconds, I would like to conclude. PPT. Okay, remember this. PPT. Uh, it is not PowerPoint presentation, right? In the media terms, we say PPT, P, P for pitch, right? No. Let me start like this. P for pace. When you speak in the radio, when you speak in the broadcast, it's very important to maintain your pace. I do not need to be, I do not need to be very fast or very slow. I need to be very moderate. Okay, P for pace, P for pitch, 
Sometimes it seems that we are shouting. My dear friends, we are going to listen to and I'm going to share with you one of the formats and that is called the radio documentary. Okay, uh, if I speak like this, you know, you are not going to enjoy this. So I must be very mindful of what is my pitch. And if I say that, friends, welcome to this session. We are going to discuss about one of the very, one of the very fascinating format. And that format is none but radio documentary. Right. So all of you have understood, you know, uh, I mean, the actual comparison. The last is T. PPT. OK, last is T and that is the tone. OK, uh, when we talk to someone and when we get offended, we say that kindly mind your tone. OK, tone is very important. So when we take care of all these things, I hope that we are going to have a wonderful broadcaster. And on the next session, we are going to see how to develop the radio scripts. OK, and in what format? Now you have the complete idea of the radio formats. So thank you very much. And uh, I must say that uh, as we conclude the program, I would like to conclude. So friends, thank you very much for listening to this program. I am from CIT and CIT. And in this Umang program, thank you very much that all of you have heard this program and I'm getting your responses. Thank you very much. So stay tuned and we are going to meet in the next session. Thank you very much. And once again, I would like to say thank you from Ajit. Thank you very much. We would, we should say, sir, thank you so much <laughs> for uh, such an interesting session and uh, their face, the face of the participants itself, their expressions are reflecting that they thoroughly enjoyed your session and the session is not yet over. We are going to meet Ajit sir once again.